Welcome to the tutorial for the Russian Alphabet app. And this will use the uh, iPhone simulator in uh, Retina mode, but uh, it's equally applicable to the iPad uh, version, which is quite uh, similar functionally. Uh, as well, this is somewhat applicable to the free version, but of course the free version is limited, and I'll cover that as we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the reference view and it couldn't be simpler you simply touch any any letter that you want f and it'll be spoken and this is a uh, a native uh, russian speaker uh, recorded in a professional studio Yo. Je. 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 and sometimes uh, as you'll notice you get uh, a label which helps you understand better what's being said and that's reference couldn't be simpler so let's go to practice now well, there are two games at this point listen and select and reorder let's take the first we don't have to uh, cover this L. we'll talk about this now uh, now let's uh, you just heard a, a letter being pronounced we missed it because I was speaking over it so let's press the repeat button here a voice bubble to hear it again. Okay, listen. L. L. Okay. And then we simply find the the letter that we think it is. Uh, and it, Je. Turn, it turns green uh, because uh, we cut it right. So let's uh, press this uh, repeat again. Je. And we'll get this right again. But now we're going to pretend that we really don't know what this letter is, and we're going to press we mix up these. So we're going to press this one and watch what happens. Uh, first of all, it turns red, indicating that we're wrong, uh, but it hopefully repeats it again. M. And uh, if we're truly stuck on one, M. Let's pretend we are. M. We can always press the skip button. There's only two ways to go to the next letter. One is to actually get it correct, and the other one is to press skip. Now I'll just uh, direct your attention to the letters here. One of these will pop up in, uh, in red. That indicates um, the letter that we skipped. Okay, so watch. T. Okay, so that was the one that uh, we missed. And uh, if uh, at first you are overwhelmed by having so many of these letters, you simply go to edit, and you can knock out whatever ones you you want. So we can make it a bit more manageable. You can kind of, uh, you can kind of unlock for yourself. So we can just start with this one. V. Press done, and we only get quizzed on ah on the ones that g are uh, still highlighted okay de and of course you can always once you get more confident you can always restore de de and that's it for listen and select we go to re or reorder that's a bit more uh, challenging um, i'm not don't worry i'm not going to uh, make you sit through the whole reordering but uh, some people do like to to, to know the, the, the sequence. So we just take one and we bring it up to top. And we are indeed correct. And we just go with it for each letter. Um, you have to order the letters in sequence. Okay. Uh, but I won't, again, I won't say and let you uh, through that. And it's really a, a more advanced practice. You can always look at the, the reference. So if you want to get hints but of course once you go every time you go in here it's uh, reordered so you can't really uh, cheat that way we're going to go to test and there's only one test listen select uh, as it says here it's going to be 100 letters and uh, you must play until all 100 are done and uh, there's a couple of differences here of course the, the letters are, are spoken and uh, you have to choose the one you think it is but you don't get any immediate feedback you don't know if you if you got it correct or not 
uh, until the end. It'll tell you how many you can cut right out of 100, i.e. A, a percentage. And the only indication of progress is the progress bar here. So let's uh, go a little ways. Again, I'm not going to go through all 100. Where? Eh. And oh, I should say that there's no repeat either. Makes it uh, truly a test. Te. But you notice that there is a um, progress bar here. Ze. Okay. So it's a it's a, a bit of a challenge. So uh, don't get discouraged. Really um, practice uh, practice your way to this point. And as it says here, if we cancel, we don't get a score. Not surprisingly. Oh, I should point out that this test is not available in the free version. It wouldn't make much sense because the free version is limited in in the number of uh, letters it presents. It presents 10. So that means that uh, you'll have 10 letters in reference and 10 letters in the practice that we had, um, both in terms of the list and select and the reorder. You only have the first 10 letters. Uh, finally, settings is a pretty Spartan. It's just a matter of showing the capital letters. So go back to reference. You have capital letters. De. Practice. You have capital letters as well. Okay, and even in reorder, you have practice, uh, capital letters. So that's up to you. Uh, finally, go to the info screen, and you have uh, a link to this very tutorial, uh, whatever support site we're offering at the point at this point a uh, link to review, uh, rate or review, uh, either version, whatever version you have installed for your or paid, and uh, this is especially appreciated. If you're affiliated with an educational institution, I think this is limited to the US, um, you can get a discount on volume sales. And actually, volume sales starts at uh, 20. And finally, just some suggested apps. I have one other Russian app, it's uh, Numbers. Uh, so I have a link to numbers and numbers free. Probably recommend that you start with alphabet because numbers obviously uh, the words uh, for the numbers involve the alphabet. But uh, both are excellent foundation for for uh, your initial forays into into learning Russian. Um, and incidentally, I have other uh, alphabet apps and numbers apps in other languages in, in case you want to get a, a base in in, in, the, in those. So thank you for your time, and uh, I really hope to uh, hear from you, and I hope that you uh, enjoy it and get some benefit from these. Thank you very much.